Hello, welcome to my channel. If you haven't been here before, please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell. Today I'm going to be talking about and fitting a, a Sprint air filter to my 2013 Gen 2 ZZR 1400. Um, if that's what you're looking for, it's coming up right after this intro. Right, so why do you want to fit a sprint air filter? I'd say one of the main reasons that anyone fits a performance air filter to their bike is for more power. And the sprint air filter not only gives you more power, it gives you a better delivery of power. More air, more power, more filtration. Most filters are made of uh, materials like cotton or sponge, um, which are unreliable, they break under pressure. Um, this is made of a polyester material that allows an air pressure to be constant and calibrated. Uh, the spin air filter is um, essentially maintenance free. You just take it out, blow it down with an airline and put it back in. So there's no need to wash it or oil it. Um, you don't have to let it dry. Um, so it's a lot quicker and easier. If you maintain your sprint air filter correctly, take it out regularly, give it a good clean and put it back in, um, it will essentially last a lifetime of your motorbike. Um, so there's no need to keep replacing it. In the long run, you'll save yourself some money. So where do you get the sprint air filter from in the UK? Uh, the distributor for sprint air filters in the UK of a company called Performance Parts and they're based in Daventry. I'll leave a link in the description for their website uh, but you simply log on to their website, put in what bike you've got, what year it is, all that sort of information and that will give you a list of um, parts you can get for your bike and as you can see the filter I got was £88 and it was with me within 48 hours. Uh, no duty to pay obviously because it's the UK so nothing to worry about there. So at last it's time to fit the filter. To fit the air filter, the first thing you have to do is remove this top fairing bit on the air ducking dates. Um, that's a five mm Allen key. Got three bolts, one at the bottom, one at the top, and one actually on the dash up here. A bit tricky to see. Yeah, I'm just about to see that now. Um, when you remove them, it's five mm Allen key as I say and just don't lose the plastic washers. Well, when you remove this top fairing, the air intake fairing, just bear in mind, well, under here are a couple of clips that go underneath. Um, so it's just right out of here. And they fit underneath that bit of fairing on the side. So you have to push it forward. There, as you can see, it's it like that. Um, and then it comes out. Quite easy with two hands, obviously. Right, so once that's off, remove that. You're going to take um, this top cover off the top front of your tank. That's just three bolts, one at the top here, and the one at the side here on the fairing. And one's the same the other side. So just Take them out again. Don't lose your plastic washers. Right, you will now have to remove. This panel here, it, it stops it coming off from here. Um, and that's simply, we are taking that bolt out. That bolt there, and that one in there.
Then the top should just pop off. Just like. Just be careful when you're doing that, but these, that has to come forward from these two clips. Once you've got them off, side fairings, um, air duct intake fairings, and the tank fairing at the front, you'll then have this panel here. Right, that's just two bolts, one at the bottom, one at the top, uh, angle socket. Now that was really loose. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure why that's that loose. It was serviced, that was replaced a couple of years ago. Make a note there's an arrow on there, point it forward. There's your air filter, and that just pulls straight out like that. As you can see, this one's not hold at all. So, just like that. Yeah, it's not too mucky, really. Pretty good in there as well. So. Right, and the new sprint filter is just a straight replacement, as you say. So it just slides straight in the hole, no problem at all. Uh, put your cover back on, with your arrow <laughs> pointing forward. Once that's that, all done, um, all you've got to do now is simply put everything back on in the reverse you took it off, and it's all good to go. So thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell, and I'll catch you again soon.